Nate Tate, an American artist, 1928 to 1960, is a 1998 fictional hoax biography by William Boyd. Quick facts. First edition pictured in uh, the info box, author William Boyd, publisher edition Stemel, publication date June 1998, ISBN 1-901785-01-7. OCLC number 3893433. Nate Tate. Nate Tate was an imaginary person invented by Boyd and created as, quote, an abstract impressionist, expressionist who destroyed 99% of his work and leapt to his death from the Staten Island Ferry. His body was never found, end quote. Art Hoax. Boyd published the book as a hoax presented as a real biography. Gore Vidal, John Richardson, Picasso's biographer, Karen Wright, then editor of the influential Modern Painters magazine, and David Bowie, a board member of Modern Painters magazine and co-director with Wright of 21 Publishing, which published the book, were all participants in the hoax. Nate Tate is a combination of the names of two London art galleries, the National Art Gallery and Tate Gallery. Boyd and his conspirators set about convincing the New York glitterati social elites that the reputation of this influential abstract expressionist needed to be reevaluated. Bowie held a launch party on April Fool's Day Eve, 1998, and read extracts from the book while Richardson talked about Tate's relationships with both Picasso and Brack. About a week later, a man named David Lister wrote to the Independent of London and claimed that some of the biggest names in the art uh, world have been the victims of a literary hoax, and the story was picked up by other newspapers, including the New York Times. In reality, it appears that few were fooled, and most of the big names in the art world, including artists, collectors, art historians, art dealers, New York-based writers like Paul Auster, and editors of literary journals quickly realized that Nate Tate was a complete fake and that they had been the victims of an elaborate setup. Some of the paintings featured in the book were reportedly painted by Boyd and the hoax was made more believable by Gore Vidal's endorsement on the book cover. Also, the photographs of Nate Tate that feature in the biography are of unknown people from Boyd's own photographic collection. The literary editor of The Independent, who was at the New York launch, said that no one he spoke to claimed to know Tate well, but no one claimed not to have heard of him. Lister stated that he sniffed something fishy, since he appeared to be the only person in the room who had never heard of Tate. His suspicions were confirmed when he discovered that none of the galleries mentioned in the book actually existed. Karen Wright, one of Bowie's co-directors at 21 Publishing, said that the hoax was not meant to be malicious. Part of it was, we were amused that people kept saying, yes, I've heard of him. There is a willingness to not appear foolish. Critics are too proud for that. Boyd, the main perpetrator of the hoax, agreed, saying the doubts were meant to set in very quickly. Newsweek magazine attempted to contact David Lister, the man who had written the, to the Independent, but could not find him, leading them to suggest that perhaps Lister, too, didn't really exist. Biography of Nate Tate Nate Tate, born Nathwell Tate, March 7, 2008, in Union Beach, New Jersey, United States of America. Died 12th of January, 1960, aged 31, off Staten Island, New York, United States of America. Um, nationality, American. Known for painting. Notable work. Surviving works include Portrait of K, Bridge Number 114, and Bridge Number 122, and at least one unnumbered bridge drawing. According to the his inventor's fictitious biography, Nathwell Nate Tate was 
born probably in Union Beach, New Jersey, on 7th of March, 1928. His father, for whom he, he is named, uh, deserted the family before Tate's birth. From the age of three, Tate, an only child, lived in Pequonic, Long Island, New York, with his mother Mary, who worked as a kitchen maid for a wealthy family. Mary was killed in a traffic accident in February 1936, shortly before Tate's eighth birthday, and Tate was subsequently adopted by the family with whom he and his mother had been living. Always interested in painting and drawing, Tate studied painting with Hans Hoffman in Provincetown, Massachusetts from 1947 until 1950 and began showing his work in exhibitions of abstract art in New York City in 1952. His adoptive family supported Tate, paying for lessons and also buying much of his artwork. Tate became a respective, albeit minor, figure in the New York art scene appreciated by his peers, if somewhat obscured to the general public. A recurring motif in his work was the representation of bridges, which was partially inspired by his readings of Hart Crane. An alcoholic, Tate became increasingly irrational towards the end of the decade. After a trip to Europe in 1959, he became overwhelmed by the quality of art he saw there, especially that of George Brock, who Tate briefly visited. On his return to America, Tate insisted on borrowing or buying back his paintings from their owners so he could, quote, improve, end quote, them. Apparently unhappy with his work, he then simply destroyed all the paintings he reacquired, about 99% of his collected works, according to one estimate. Emulating the death of Hart Crane, Tate committed suicide on January 12, 1960, by jumping off the Staten Island Ferry. Later appearances William Boyd included Nate Tate as a minor character in his novel Any Human Heart and its TV adaptation. In 2011, a painting by Nate Tate, entitled Bridge No. 114, was auctioned at Sotheby's in London. The winning bid for the painting, which was actually by William Boyd, was £7,250, well above the expected price, with the purchaser later revealed to be English television personality Anthony McPartlin. The money was given to the Artist General Be Benevolent Institution. See also Sokol Affair. References Peter Plagens, 1998 in Newsweek. Biography of William Boyd on bookbrowse.com. The BBC in 1998. The Indian Express, Bombay in 1998. Sotheby's Catalog in PDF format. Mick Brown, Daily Telegraph, London in 2012, and Maeve Kennedy in The Guardian of London 2011. An external link points to the 21 Publishing website, 21publishing.com.